I think this is a very important uh, uh, success for the for Mr. Assange team to get such an opinion anyway internationally. It cannot simply be um, uh, disregarded uh, by the Swedish authorities or the British authorities, uh, even if legally not binding. Uh, and then when it comes to what will happen to Mr. Assange, of course, the worst scenario is that he would sit uh, in the same embassy for another four and a half years. It's not indefinite, uh, indefinite as uh, his um, uh, lawyers have said, uh, but because according to Swedish law, it is 10 years, uh, that means two, uh, 10 years of detainment uh, for, um, for a crime of, uh, of rape. Uh, and after 10 years, there would be automatically uh, a limitation and a stop of the prosecution. So he will be a free man after four and a half years anyway. But of course, even one more day, unnecessary one more day, is too many, too long, I think. And that's why it's uh, very important if the process of uh, interrogating him and deciding whether he should be charged with the crime that he is now suspected for or he should be free. And then, uh, uh, what say? Uh, well, I think it's a very, uh, it's a class example, in fact, uh, this case, because it has, uh, what, what, what the complication is in the fact that he is in the, in an embassy of a foreign state outside of the Swedish territory. So Sweden is not only dealing with the United Kingdom, but also has to come to an agreement with the Ecuador government. Uh, which considers uh, his embassy as a part of his territory. It's uh, their law which applies there. So uh, all in all, I should say that uh, uh, at least uh, between Ecuador and, uh, and Sweden, there should be some sort of dialogue uh, in order to find a solution which is con convincing for both parts in order uh, to put an end to the present situation. And I uh, have seen that in recent months anyway, there have been efforts to that direction. But normally the cases where this uh, working group, or generally speaking, any uh, human rights committee or organ within the UN system uh, uh, delivers an opinion, uh, in, uh, I, I, I should say in most cases it is about a country which has not a good reputation as regards respect for human rights. So this is an exceptional case, in fact, for both these countries. And uh, since uh, the point of departure, at least for Sweden, is that everything has functioned perfectly. The uh, judiciary in Sweden is doing its job uh, efficiently. So it would be very difficult, uh, so to say, to accept an opinion uh, criticizing the way things has, uh, been done, uh, have been done in Sweden and uh, to adjust uh, or change, so to say, the decisions because of an, a non-binding opinion. So I think...